to get to Google Drive, you can just go to the top and type in drive.google.com. The other way you can do it is from your email, and there is the apps icon uh, up in the corner. And when you click on that, you can find Google Drive that way too. So you can go from your email or go there directly, but you log in with your email address. So what you would want to do is to focus here is on the left hand side, you'll see that there is a create button. So this is how you make Google Documents. So you click on create and then notice you can create a folder, a text document, a presentation, a spreadsheet, a form, which are awesome, and drawings, which are deceptively awesome as well. Most people ignore that and don't even realize it's there, but you can do a lot of really cool things with Google Draw. So all you need to do is choose which one that you want to create. Let's go ahead and create a text document. So I'm going to click on document. And it should be pretty familiar. It looks similar to Word or other text editing software that you've used. Up at the top left, you can see it says Untitled Document. We can go ahead and click on that to name it. I like to use these to take notes. So you might want to take your notes for the class in a Google document. The other thing you'll notice is by default that it's private. So you can see that it has a padlock on this blue share button in the upper right hand corner. I'm zooming in so that you can see this better, which is why it suddenly looks so funky. So what you want to do is you want to click on that blue share button and it's going to take you to a screen where you can share it with others. So notice here it says invite people. So you can type in the email address of people at your group or other people that you know to let them type on the document at the exact same time. And so you'll notice here though it is private and so this is really a problem because if you create something for this class it can't be private because it needs to be graded. So we're going to come over here to change and we're going to click on change. And then the options are public on the web, anyone with the link, or shared privately. Now if you're using your Google Apps account, you'll notice that you have a couple more options that you can do with anybody at Fresno State. Uh, that's probably not a good option to choose. Instead, let's just go ahead and do anyone with the link. That's probably the safest. And you'll notice it says that anyone with the link can view. Now when you're doing with this with students, you may want to have can view, but you also might want to choose some different options. So notice I can click on the can view and I can choose can comment or can edit. So if you're looking for peers to give you some feedback, you might want to give them only commenting rights, not editing rights. I personally just give them editing rights. It's easy if they make a change that you didn't want them to, to roll it back. So go ahead and just say uh, can view or can edit, whatever you like, and hit save. And I'm going to hit done, and now it's a text document. It's not super fancy, but actually it's kind of awesome. Now the link up here at the top, the URL, I'm going to use Command L and it highlights the address bar, Command L, Control L on a PC, but that's the link you can use to share the document with others to let them look at it. 